Hello friends, welcome to this Shradhyag number one practice session. We're doing Shradhyag number one, lines one through four. We're focusing on intonation today. So, and also by the way, this is the violin, but you can also play this on the viola. The Shradhyag exercises are written on the D string for the viola. So if you just hop over to your A string, you can play this along with me on the A string. Just um, think about the fingering rather than the note name. Or you can play it on the D string and we'll just be in fifths, that's fine. Um, so yes, we're going to do four bows per note at 84. And then we're going to do two bows per note at 72. And then finally, we'll do one bow per note at 60. If any of, if at any time this is challenging for you, if you're going, if the bow is moving a little too fast, just hold the bow for however many counts we're doing. So if we're doing four counts, just hold the bow for four counts. If we're doing two counts, just hold the bow for one count. Um, if we're holding the bow for two counts, hold do one bow, but hold it for two counts, I mean. I'm going to put on a cello drone, and then I'm going to pop on my metronome, and we'll get started. Here we are at 84. Before we um, jump into this, let's make sure that our left hand's in the right place. Wrist straight. Let's test out the first finger. A. other note C sharp, D, and E. You want to try and keep your hand like this the whole time. You're just dropping the fingers, so no like contorting at all. Okay, and when we put the fingers down, let's throw them down so they're like little hammers and lift them quickly so they are not sluggish. Okay, so with that, one, two, three, four.
So that was the first round. The next round is going to be at 72. We're going to do two bows per note. And I'm turning the beat down to 72. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. By the way, if you have a preference on like the position of the violin, if you want to see the bow a little bit too, let me know if you want to just really see the left hand. Um, or if you want to see the other side of the hand, just, you know, comment below and <laughs> let me know what you think. I'm going to rewind the drone. Okay, two bows per note. Let's check the first finger. You can check the other finger. Keep everything nice and still. Two, three, four.
ready for the last round, you guys. I'm gonna put this down at 60. I'm gonna rewind the drum. We're doing one click per note. A, B, C sharp. Okay, let's check the fingers. Okay, so we're really chiseling out this basic hand pattern. All right, ready, go. Before you leave, let's make sure that every time you practice this week, that you add this to the mix. And next week, we are gonna do the next four lines. So we'll do lines five through eight. Just focus in on lines one through four, play this video along with me. And I hope that this improves your left hand and your intonation. And make sure that you have your tuner, oops, sorry, shoulder rest falling. Make sure you have your tuner in front of you when you're practicing, okay? All right, lots of love.